All right, this is uh, <clears throat> Conversations with a Dom. Mm. Yes, sir. Black Another a Dom. Black Avelli. And um, what's going to happen is we're going to go into a like five to ten minutes spill, and then the rest is going to be on Patreon. Okay. Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. I appreciate y'all having me on the show. Um, I identify with him to be here some lifestyle as Sir Black Avelli. That is B L A K B E L L I. Um or oh, B L A K A B E L. Um Okay, so you can go with what you have because I'm I'm gonna shut mine. Oh, okay. So we have some bullets because, um, well, as you all know, Mr. Discipline is in, is, uh, um, in the BBSM lifestyle. All right. So, <laughs> Sir Blackavelli, how long have you have you been in, in the lifestyle? I've been practicing the lifestyle for about eight years. Eight years. A little bit longer, but, you know, I'm, I mainly focus on the eight years of the experiences and the teachings. Still learn. Okay. Where did you learn or, or how did you hear about it like for the first time? Is, was it like books or did you know somebody? I, you know, it's honestly through Facebook. Um, eating, I, it's not when it got more serious on taking what the lifestyle really means seriously. I had, um, I had started engaging with someone who identified as a submissive. And the main question she asked me was, what is it about being a dominant that I see myself getting? And in the beginning, it was always like the focus was in the other direction. So by having that kind of question being asked to me, it really made that internal um, review, you know, and that, that self, that self processing and really digging in there to really understand myself what I was aiming and intention, intending to get out of, you know, the lifestyle. What other direction? Say that again? You said um it was leading you towards the other direction. Um, instead of me focusing on to be a dominant or a submissive or what what dominance was to a submissive, it was more like the question was, What's dominance to you? Mm. You know, believe in. Mm -hmm. What is you know, what are you practicing to represent that title? Not just calling yourself that. Because if you call yourself that, that's easy. Mm -hmm. But it's about really, you know, understanding what truly represents that title and that role. And not for just for self, but what it's going to mean for someone that you are saying you want to be or establish this dynamic with. What did you tell her? Um, I told her, I'm going to have to get back to you. Oh, nice. Okay. You know what I mean? Because that was the mode of, of that critical thinking, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They tell you, allow your emotions to encourage you to think, not to react. So that was the main thing. It wasn't about reacting like, what do you mean I'm not dominant? Or what do you mean by the question? It was more like, no, what do you know about yourself? And then, you know, because you can't, if you don't know yourself, how can you lead or guide anyone within this lifestyle as that role? Okay, so when is, is that when you discovered that this lifestyle was for you? Or was it before that? Like no, how how did you discover that? Go ahead. It was it was me overlooking my actions. Because in order to build trust, you have to be present in what someone's been through in their life. The communication is very transparent and everyone understands they have the equal value. Okay, I'm happy that you brought that up because we um you know, before we have somebody come onto the show, we go on their page and we take a look. And I'm happy that you brought up poly because I see that we are um, in a poly, you're a, what's the word? Polygamous? No. Polyamorous. The eso. How yeah. does poly life, like how does that work for you? It's not rainbows and sunshine all the time. <laughs> oh, really? No, it's not. It is, you know, it goes back to the discipline that you have, um, the communication that you establish, and being as transparent as possible. And at the same time. Don't, so it, sorry, hold on. It, Hey. The rest is going to be on Patreon. Keep going. Okay. <laughs>